What's up, nerds? It's Sierra here, also known as Fangs, and today we are going to do an N7 Loot Crate opening. I was originally going to film this on my Nikon, but it's being a piece of shit and can't hold a charge for more than like five minutes, so I had to keep like screwing with it and re-recording, and it was really annoying, and I'm losing light, so I just wanted to get this done and over with. We're going to do this with the Alienware today. So, if you ordered the special edition N7 Loot Crate, you got a crate that's freaking huge. This thing's like bigger than me. See? I have already gone through the uh, problem of cutting all the tape open so you guys didn't have to watch me almost kill myself trying to do it. Now, let's see what's inside. Ugh. So, we are going to share my experience opening this loot crate as it said to do so. And uh, this was being a special edition crate was a little bit more expensive than most loot crates. A lot more expensive than most loot crates. It was $70, which I was more than happy to pay because it's Mass Effect. Luckily, I didn't have to pay $70 because me and Mike split the cost, which means we're going to split the loot later, but that's fine. So to start us off, we have this little box here. Just has the N7 stripe on it. I have no idea what's in here, but it, it's really heavy. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Ah. Oh, these are glasses. These are little shot glasses. Okay, so this is awesome. We have an N7 shot glass. I'm so glad my Alienware comes with a really nice camera. But yeah, N7 shot glass. And we also have another shot glass. Which is perfect, me and Mike can divvy up the shot glasses. Oh, I feel like he should have this one, but honestly, I would keep this one. No, I should keep this one. This one says Afterlife on it, and it's got a sexy little Asari. I don't know if you can see the writing. The writing is in blue, and then the Asari is in pink. That's cute. So, I'm going to rebox this later, so you guys don't have to deal with me I'm trying to figure out how it works. Next, there are N7 socks. Well, these are actually... I think there's three pairs in here. Nope. Two pairs. Two pairs of socks. One has... I'm just going to take them out. Whatever. One has the Paragon symbol on it. And one has the Renegade symbol on it in this pair. This one matches my hair today. And the other pair... Yes, yeah, the N7 stripe. Super cute. Not quite knee highs. Next, we have something that I'll probably be keeping because Mike doesn't do stuffed animals like I do. Super strong. Just kidding. Upper body strength for kitten. This is a Volus plush. Super cute. I am a biotic god. You should kneel before me. Just kidding. Super cute little Volus plush, though. That's adorable. There is also a flat This is N7. And it's a tiny box. This might be a pin. I believe this is a pen. This is not a pen. I'm guessing this is for on a car, which I don't have. I don't have a car, so Mike can have this. But N7. Nothing on the back. Look, I totally just realized my hair matches. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> the yet. Yeah. Do not know what this is either. Oh, I think this is supposed to be, this is a journal that looks like a codex, which are those things you can pick up off the ground. Sometimes you can hack them, and sometimes they just have information or credits on them. But, um, little journal thingy with its keypad. Even the inside has a little, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, little codex thing in it. And it is lined paper. Sweet. Never enough journals. 
It also came with, I think everybody knew this was coming with this, but an N7 hoodie. Oh, this is a nice hoodie, too. It's got the N7 logo embroidered on it, and it's got the N7 stripe going down the sleeve. That is on the right sleeve. Nothing on the other sleeve, and nothing on the back, so I'm not going to bother showing you. But this is a really thick, nice hoodie. Like, this is going to be good for winter. And this is nice because I wanted to get Mike an N7 hoodie anyway, and now I don't have to because he's going to have one. And I am not going to keep this one because I already have a tally hoodie, so I don't really need another hoodie. And then we have an N7 backpack. My hair is eating me currently. A cute little backpack with an N7 stripe going down it. It's got a pocket on the front, and I wonder if it has inside pockets. I'll be a little bit disappointed if it doesn't have inside pockets. It does not have inside pockets. Bioware put inside pockets in these, because girls need lots of pockets. But at least it has two pockets. So when we blast off into space, we can go in style. And it has Mass Effect Redemption. Ooh. I don't have this one yet. I started reading Mass Effect Foundation, and I have the first two volumes of that, but I don't have any Mass Effect Redemption, and it's got, it looks like my space has been Thane on it. I hope that's Thane. If it's Thane, this is mine. But I don't want to be that person that's like, all drow look alike. I can't wait to read this. I love, I love the art of the Mass Effect comics. It's really pretty. And finally, at the bottom, I believe this just explains everything that is in the Mass Effect Limited Edition crate. It does. And as I said, you got an N7 armor stripe hoodie, exclusive Mass Effect sock set, Mass Effect Volume 1 of Redemption, exclusive Volus collectible plush, exclusive Mass Effect shot glass set, exclusive N7 armor stripe backpack, exclusive N7 car emblem, which Mike can keep because I don't have a car. And exclusive data pad notepad, notebook. What is English? But yeah, here is the little brochure that comes with it. Hoping you guys can see that. Hoping it's picking it up. And here's the back. Stand strong, stand together. Which is awesome. So now we are all prepared for Mass Effect Andromeda, which I'm super excited to come out. Um... Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this was a special edition loot crate. It was $70, came out on N7 Day. If you didn't get it, I'm really sorry, but check out Bioware's store for more awesome Mass Effect and N7 stuff. And stay tuned for more videos. I promise I'm going to try to upload more frequently and film more frequently.